Everyone is talking about the great Mayan Prince restaurant in San Ignacio, Belize, and what makes it different. And at a glimpse, it's obvious it's made of fine woods, handcrafted by a group of Belizean builders and designed by Jean Paniagua. The detail is amazing. So much thought went into this restaurant, and that was the plan, to get your attention. There's always something going on. Watch the game, cartoons, a movie, music videos, whatever. Entertainment and great service, and the food, that's the real attention getter. Parmesan chicken, Mediterranean salad, lobster carbonara, stuffed snapper, T-bone steak, chocolate souffle, coconut cream pie. And if you're in the mood for a cocktail or glass of wine, the bar is standing by to wet your whistle, providing an atmosphere in a way that you never thought imaginable. The Great Mayan Prince offers the finest accommodations available, as you can plainly see. Handmade furniture, premium mattresses, electronics, and wow, this suite is perfect. And groups can find their place at the Great Mayan Prince as well. There's no way not to see the advantages of spending some time in San Ignacio, and the Great Mayan Prince is your ticket. Kudos to its creator, Jean Paniagua. This farm will soon be a foster home for any and all children in need. Jean and his wife, Yoli, have a big heart for little children, and it shows. And what could be better than a petting zoo, a swimming pool, with a water slide? There's lots of space here to play. The main house is being built right now with sleeping areas for the children. Gene is very specific with the realization of his dream. But hey, this property already comes with a family. A family of howler monkeys. A daddy, a mommy, a baby, and boy are they spirited. It's easy to imagine what this place will become, but the surprise was finding oil on the land. Gene Paniagua, someone is watching over you. I guess that when you give, you truly do receive. It may seem like an unlikely gift to give your countrymen, but disposing of household garbage in an environmentally friendly fashion is possibly the best gift you could give a young country like ours. The time had come for a change for the better, and Gene Paniagua was on the ground floor of this promising project. Among mountains of garbage are useful items that can be recycled, plastic, aluminum, scrap metal. To us, they're just trash. But to a visionary entrepreneur, this is a cash business that makes the world a better place. And this is more of what Gene Paniagua has given to Belize. Where there was once mountains of trash becomes a beautiful pasture with the collection area on the furthest hill. See what I mean? Much better, huh? The biggest of these collection sites is the Belize Regional Sanitary Landfill on Mile 24. This location receives waste from the most populated areas of Belize. And as we arrived at the security checkpoint, we realized that there is much more here than just plain trash. This is the science, an orderly way to process our household garbage now and forever. Huge areas are sculpted into bowl-shaped basins and lined with a heavy black material, and the walls are lined with discarded tires, now becoming a layer to hold the soil in place. A network of pipes and drains are put in place to transfer the liquids that seep from the trash. Diverted into ponds, these liquids are allowed to harmlessly evaporate in the sun, away from Mother Nature. This is technology designed to protect our water. This icky liquid known as lechate is trapped in the sun to evaporate harmlessly into the evening heat. As Gene demonstrates, this material is practically indestructible and proves that this plan is safe. And these sites are monitored and controlled under the watchful eye of administrators trained in modern waste removal. This is a win-win situation for the people of Belize, another thoughtful contribution by Mr. Gene Paniagua. Our resort here in San Ignacio will be featuring our fine dining there at the restaurant. We'll have our regular rooms. We'll also have a bunkhouse that will be able to house 32, a group of 32 students or just uh, tourists passing through. 
We'll also have our uh, amenities include a nice swimming pool and of course you'd be able to swim up to the bar area in the water and enjoy a beautiful well-designed wet bar at our swimming pool. Our restaurant will be doing a full menu. We'll be doing a, it will be opening all the way from 7 in the morning up until 10, 30 or 11 at night. We'll have beautiful views from the up, from the terrace upstairs. You'll be able to see all the, out on the horizon, the mountainside of San Ignacio, the Cayo district overlooking into the, towards the Guatemalan border. Hi, I'm Yuri. I'm Gina Yoli's oldest daughter. I am the manager of the Great Mayan Prince. I hope to see you soon. I'm always on the floor here to accommodate and um, always with a smile on my face. Hello, I'm Yoli, Jean's wife, the mother of the girls which you see around in the restaurant. We have delicious food and good service and I hope to see you guys. And you're all, always welcome into our restaurant, the Great Mayan Prince. Thank you. My name's Alyssa, I'm Jean's daughter and Yoli's daughter. You'll always see me around hanging out, doing something, and I could guarantee one thing, you'll love it. Well, we're back. You have met my family, the little one, my wife, and my oldest daughter. Please come over and let's share some good times. Let's enjoy the hotel, the resort, and let's have some fun as Belizeans that we are and we always will be. We should be proud of the patriotism that we carry and we should be proud of one another as we participate in the betterment of our little jewel.